So what are the uh, success factor of a project? This is called a strategic success factors. Uh, there are many success factors, but uh, the author uh, identifies the following success factors related to a project. The first one is project mission. So you must spell out very clearly, clearly you have to define and agreed upon objectives in the project plan. So if your project mission is time or T, yes, the first success factors uh, 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 is good one. The second one, top management support. You can't, you can't implement successfully a project plan if top management does not support you or if you don't get necessary support from the top management so if you are smart enough but if you are not good in communication you don't know how to communicate how to prepare a project proposal how to present nicely that case is maybe your project proposal is really good but you will not get the support of the top management. So we say it is necessary for top management to get behind the project at the outset and make clear to all personnel involved that they support successful completion. So remember, top management support is important. Third one, your action plan, project's action plan. How project will go for implementation this implementation plan is also important how you will implement so go for implementation detail plan of the required step in the implementation process needs to be developed including all resources requirements so these are the strategic success factors then the work breakdown structure uh, where we have already uh, seen uh, one work breakdown structure that uh, I prepare as a part of my project. So work breakdown structure, it's what? It's, it's, it's division, division of task. If we have five tasks, if we can divide it to 500 tasks, you are a very good project manager. Your team can go for implementing the project successfully. So more work breakdown happens, less mistakes will occur. So there are many reasons behind work breakdown structure, why we go for making work breakdown structure. There are so many advantages, so many benefits of work breakdown structure. And, and, and these are dimensional. Uh, we can divide these benefits into different categories. The first, we can explain all these benefits. Work breakdown structure may illustrate how each piece of the project contributes to whole in terms of performance, responsibility, schedule and budget. The second one, work breakdown structure may lease the vendors of subcontractors associated with the specific task. Can you find out the relationship between the work breakdown structure you have already observed and this theoretical discussion? Just remember. Yes, sir. You yes, see, vendors and subcontractors associated with the specific task. So there was also tender process was given, tender process. It says designing tender, then advertising, then evaluating or appraisal of the tender. So have you seen that? So work breakdown structure may serve as the basis for making cost estimates or estimates of task duration. So in that breakdown structure, there was a budget and under budget, there were many other tasks. 
Can you remember within two, three minutes ago, we have seen that? Yes, sir. And also work breakdown structure may be used to document that all parties have signed off on their various commitments to the project. If you keep this work breakdown structure with you, every day you can monitor the progress because you know that which task is fast, then which one is second. And this way, you can also evaluate among four, five tasks within task number one, how many of the tasks you have already completed and how many is still on the process. And the breakdown structure I have already showed you as an example, if you keep these in your mind, then you will find some general steps for designing and using the work breakdown structure. So what are the general steps that we need to remember? One is you using information from the action plan. So the plan you have, earlier we have covered project plan, you are getting information from your action plan. And then list the task breakdown in successively final levels of detail. So again, in our example, we tried to follow this. One task, we tried to break down in successively final levels of detail and continue until all meaningful tasks or work packages have been identified. So we tried AVC limited when we try to convert these traditional shop to online shop, then we follow this. Then for each such work package, identify that are relevant to the work breakdown structure. List the personnel and organization responsible for each task. All work package information should be reviewed with the individuals or organizations who have responsibility for doing or supporting the work in order to verify the accuracy of the work breakdown structure. That is important. Can you do work breakdown structure without expertise? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. So that should be verified. Verified. Yes, you make a you make one plan, you have one breakdown structure, but it's still you need to be verified that. And some more steps that we need to keep in our mind that the total project budget should consist of four elements. You see that uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the work breakdown structure that we have already uh, uh, experienced, uh, we didn't follow all this. We have only two, two types of budget there. Uh, one was activity budget, yeah? So here you have some guideline that direct budget from each task that is each task associated with some cost and then indirect cost budget for the project, a contingency or reserve for unexpected emergencies. That is very important, dear participants, very important because you may have cyclone, you may have earthquake, you may have fire incident, you may have uh, uh, any other kinds of problems that is called contingency. So if you have any problems, you must keep some options in your budget to face this kind of contingency. So this is vital. And any residual, which includes the profit derived from the project. So while you will really go for work breakdown structure under budget, you must keep in your mind so many points, okay, we know, but one should remember that is contingency. This is not for regular expenditure. You may face danger. 
So you may face risk. You have many uncertainty. So if you have some option for this, oh, your project will be really a realistic one. And then the project master schedule integrates the many different schedules relevant to the various parts of the project. I have explained earlier, that's why I'm not explaining this. Just remember that uh, in the master schedule means that is integrating your individual schedule of so many tasks. So you have to be careful about each bird or individual task uh, if you want to accomplish your master schedule. And the number six is The project manager can examine actual resource used by work element, actual resource, then work package task up to the full project level. Uh, I, I don't think that you need to uh, uh, spend a lot of time to understand this. It is a very common one. It's a common sense. The project manager can identify problems, common task. Uh, harden and estimates of final cost, common task, uh, make sure that relevant corrections have been designed. So if the point number six uh, may not be here, you still you need to do this. And then the project schedule may be subjected to the same comparison as the project budget. Actual progress is compared to scheduled or scheduled or corrective action can be taken. So the budget you have, and whenever you have progress, your progress will be evaluated with the budget. You should not wait for the end of the budget every day, every week, every month, quarterly, semi-annually, and annually. You must have uh, uh, the option to comparison, to make a comparison of your actual progress and the scheduled plan. So if you can detect your problem every day, you can solve the problem daily basis. If you detect your problem in a week, you can solve your problem weekly basis. And if you wait till the end of the project and then detect the problem, then you have to bear a lot of losses. And that is enough for today. If you have questions, then you can ask me.